What's going on guys? It's Crazy Guitar Gamer here and uh, I'm gonna be a little lazy. You know I said we'd play Le Legion Noir all the way through and you guys are like why are you being lazy crazy? Well um I forgot to save and uh, I don't really don't feel like one playing through so we're gonna play a different story. We're gonna play La Casa by Russ Money. Now this story got the best custom story award and uh, congratulations to Russ Money. I mean we've all seen him play with uh, Chaotic Monkey or Cry. I think he's I don't know if he's done anything with Pewdie but um yeah he's a really it's a really good custom story I've heard and um I want to see exactly how this goes riding on the site in Africa made by skin crawl with goosebumps in my heart to race remember as the ones who saved humanity from all illness and all disorders I don't think I want to leave just yet. Let's just search a little bit. This is nice. What's over here? Hello. Newspaper is brown and worn. Cure all at all possible. Uh, today, two scientists, Albert Jones and Eugene Crowley, are researching a new pharmaceutical that will treat all ailments from the common old to carcinogenic tissue. The two have been nominated the Nobel Peace Prize in shoes and shoe ins if their research is conclusive. That means get to work, fuckers. Hello, Jay. Right over there. Oh, wait, it's the bunny. I want to pet you. And throw you across the room! Why the hell did they give me rotten apples? Are you people trying to poison me? How fucking dare you? Fucking trying to poison me with rotten fucking apples. No, like, of course, I'm a, I'm a scientist. I mean... Tinderbox. Holy fuck! Look how this one shoots all the way out here. Like, okay, so this one will shoot like this far. But actually, this fucker shoots out longer. I don't know. It looked a lot longer. So I bumped up my graphics a little bit. Eugene, I hope this letter finds you well, as I have exciting news I must share with you. Last night, while I was kicking my feet up at the pub, I was approached by a well-dressed man. His hair was greased back and his suit was quite snazzy. He was obviously there for business. He then went on to explain that we are only missing one chemical in our experiment. He called it cyanite, as he produced a small vial of purple liquid from his coat. He informed me that the small vial of liquid was retrieved from a research team in South Africa. The team has found the source of cyanite and said it can be extracted in great quantities, but they need more scientists to aid in their studies. So that is where you come in, my friend. Travel to Africa with me and we will be remembered as the ones who saved humanity from all illness, all disorders. Signed, Albert Jones. Well, Albert Jones, I will not lie to you and say that I think you're fucking batshit crazy. Nonetheless, adventure on! Yeah! I expected trees and bugs, but I didn't expect the plane's engine to fail. I can only remember walking up oh, hours later alone, waking up hours later alone. <laughs> so basically, we went on the trip to Africa and we fucking almost died because the plane crashed. Wake up, man. You can do it. <coughs> uh, I kind of like the uh, soundtrack, almost. Is it me? Did it get, like, a whole bunch lighter as soon as I opened that chest up? As soon as I opened that chest up, it got a little lighter in here. I like how he tried to do the plane. Uh... Maybe I have three tender boxes and I have my lantern. All shall be fair and well! Oh shit. It's fucking hardcore, man. Oh fuck. Am I supposed to go through the trees or something? I ran for what felt like miles in complete darkness before coming to a small clearing. Alright, sup, motherfuckers. Alright, I was running. <sighs> Where's the small clearing? 
Here we go. Hello. Rock. Hello. Smile over here. I just, I just like the other random box in the oil. The tense feeling of being watched was something I couldn't shake. But then my hope was rescued when it was renewed each time I saw the lights. Yeah, so each time you saw those uh, little little post things. Hello? Research entry 34. Dr. G. Friesman. It's been a week since we arrived at the site. Our contractor, Mr. Blue, seems to have forgotten to mention that this research outpost and the source of this scientite was being held in the confines of this forgotten temple. The other doctors have made reports of unusual noises coming from the depths. I assured him it was nothing but the wind. I too heard these sounds though. This place gives me the creeps. I just want to finish gathering this chemical and leave as soon as possible. Well, I'm afraid to inform you, but you're fucked, my friend. What the fuck? Dude, what the shit, man? And I want to walk in there? I don't think I was supposed to see him though, that's the thing. I think I was just supposed to walk in without seeing him. But I think like I ran back too fast. I think I was supposed to sit around searching, but I I, I, I thought. Oh, I fall that much out into these unknown depths. Okay, so you did you were supposed to see them. Hello? Whoa, what the fuck? Hello. Mentos. Door is blocked off by weak planks, but maybe I can find something to pry them off. So I guess that means I need a crowbar. Let's stand up, because obviously I'm doing okay. I don't think there's any spooks in here. I don't even know how long I'm recording for. Let's just wing it and just like do something really long. Um, I would say jumping down there would be death. Or else it would be quite funny. Research entry 88, Dr. G. Friesman. The team was right. The sounds were a warning and we did not heed it. We had just set up after reaching a rich source of cyanide when Birmingham our botanist went missing. We called for her on the radio but got nothing back. Soon enough Lewis, our geologist, went missing during the search for Birmingham, leaving us with only myself, Dr. Kleiner, and Dr. Wang. We came back to the main chamber of this place after much discussion. I'm sorry, I read that in my head. I didn't really think about that. But basically it just said that they boarded up those things because uh, they didn't want them to go missing. And uh, they boarded them up in case the team would come back. So, the reason the board's there because it's a scientist. Wouldn't this be it though? Bro! 
progress. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. Um. I like the music. It's actually fairly. I don't like this. These halls are visited before myself. That was comforting. The conclusion of the past visits was unsettling thought. Well, maybe they maybe they went and had a party, and they partied so hard that everyone died. Let's just stick with that. Alright, so I don't need my lantern. Don't waste my oil. So is it me to keep on forcing me to look at something? What's up, chair? Come with me. Alright, let's go. I don't know exactly what's gonna go on. But um I'll keep you company. I keep you company. Alright, so um you live here, so where where are we going? <gasps> Look at that. Grab leg. Grab leg. Come here, leg. Hello, crazy. How are you doing? My name is Leg. You can call me Jeffrey though. And there's a pig. Beat him. Yeah, yeah. It's tough, it's a pinata! It's a freaking pinata! I can use the arm as like a bat. And and I can take. I am gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna spin around three times, and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna beat him with. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Beat him. Whoa. Oh, you. That's a joke. I think that was something to scare. Uh, powder. Hi, powder. I think that was something to scare Pewdie because Pewdie always touches Piggy. Holy fuck, dude. Why? Why? This door is locked, Lake. Let's go. I got made another lock sound as soon as I walked past it. Oh, it's Mr. Mr. Skull. Hello there. Hello, friend. Uh, oh, I didn't do it. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I'm doing okay. Take a shower. Oh. Alright. Don't worry, I have a lantern. You don't have to worry. Don't be scared. We can see. I'm not sure what you want to see down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, this isn't good. Come on, pick it up. You can do it. Am I crouching? There we go. It's never good when there's Ladinum around because that means you're gonna get either one, you're gonna get fucking hit in the face. It means I'm gonna get hit searching for that fucking leopard. Puzzles! I don't like puzzles. Oh shit, there's another lever there. Ah, here we go. Oh, you suck! <laughs> Fuck! 
fuck you too, Raz. What the fuck? I mean, shit, man. I mean, bombs! What the fuck am I supposed to do? What the fuck? So you pick it up, and all of a sudden he's doom doom doom. I'm like, fuck! Does it matter which way I walk? I should just, like, run. Alright, guys. Run! You bitch! How about we knock- Okay, so, <laughs> maybe I'm just being retarded. Maybe we don't have to go that way. Maybe it doesn't matter if I pick that bitch up. Fuck yeah, dude. Come here. Oh, no, wait, wait, if I flip it the right way... Hello, I am Mr. Penis. Oh, well, it's like a real misodly shaped penis, but penis nonetheless. Hi, buddy. So I'm pretty sure there's four levers in here in that turning thing, so I gotta place levers. And due to the circumstances of the wall crashing down upon my face, I wonder how I did that. Like, how the fuck? I mean, so it's. Whoa, uh, let's see this then. One. Two. That's when I give up. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll look up how to cheat and finish this puzzle. Uh, I mean, not cheat. Uh, strategically figure out the answer. But uh, until next time, I'll see you guys. Have fun. Keep on gaming, guys.